Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery, a new way of raising fish. A recent study showed that Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery is in trouble. As our climate shifts, there is less water available here, especially in summer. From orchards to wildlife to hotels to hatcheries, everybody needs water. But the amount of water available is not increasing, even though demand is. So we need to find other ways of making more water available in Icicle Creek, one of our primary sources. One solution is a partial reuse aquaculture system, PRAS for short. We built an experimental PRAS with circular tanks. The first fish went into the tanks February 8, 2022. I asked assistant manager Chris Griffith to take me on a tour and show me how things are going. Chris is excited to work on this project. This is perfect. I already like technical stuff as it is. I used to work on jet in the Air Force, so for me it kind of feels like that, except it's water instead of electricity, so that's really interesting. And it's the future of, of hatcheries, I think, so I definitely wanted to be on this. There are compelling reasons for trying this new system. I mean, we're going to need it with just the way the climate change is going here the lack of flows or just our flows are different than what they used to be. It's less snow melt or it all comes at once so sometimes just no flow. It's the future. How many fish can this system handle? Come June we're gonna have 280,000 fish a year and that'll be for our pilot study. Right now we just wanted to put these 60,000 in just to kind of figure out how to use this because it's pretty technical. It's weird because it's a mix of science. We've got to do all the calculations. It's a mix of just farming because we're taking care of fish and then super technical because we have computers and everything else running the system here. So it's really neat. I enjoy it. The water outside is gravity flow, but inside the velocity is adjustable. How does that impact the fish? Here's about 0.7 feet per second. And as a calculation, it's based off the length of the fish. And then at the, the velocities we're at right now, it actually helps self-clean as well. So cleaning in here is pretty much minimal. I don't think we've had to actually broom it out at all. That seems like a really big benefit. It's awesome. To you as well <laughs> yeah, as fish. It saves my body, so I'm really <laughs> happy about it. I was a little concerned because I, I was worried it was either going to be too much velocity where it's going to get the fish stressed out and yeah. sick or just not enough velocity to clean, and it seems to be working well right now. So how does cleaning work? All we have to do is clean is, Becky's been cleaning the little screen over there on the side channel, because it does get some stuff on it, and then we just purge it by pulling one of our center stand pipes. Uh, that's where you That's when splashed. you saw me with the stuff thrown on me, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you don't do that right after a feeding event, because it's it pretty disgusting. Where does the waste go? Okay, so anything that goes through the center channel, go straight to our effluent, so there's a drum filter there that'll get the solids out. The solids will go to a vault or sump where they can get pumped out, and then the water will go to our PA box. And the hope is that's reducing our settleable solids and our phosphorus as well. Dead fish are called morts. How does the number of morts compare inside versus outside? Uh, the morts are pretty much next to none in here and I think a lot of that is there's no predation yeah and you don't have to deal with the snow the ice what do we have this year we have blue herons we've got the fattest otter I think I've ever seen in my life I had to chew through the tongues of the dam board just to be able to get through it we've had hundreds of ducks out there at one time so here I mean there's nothing bothering them what's the difference in temperature between inside and outside You've got nice temperatures that are about three to four degrees Fahrenheit warmer than what's outside, so we can feed them more. Yeah. I think they're much happier fish. If fish inside are growing at a different rate from outside, how will that change what you do? I think what we're going to end up having to do, especially once we have all the fish in here, is we're going to have to probably cut the rations on some of them just so they don't get too big. And uh, in the winter time, we can can temper in here with well water so we can adjust the temperatures as necessary. Same with the summertime to cool it off. I think if we were just to rear the fish how they want it to be, these fish would definitely be bigger than outside. Just because one, they're more fit and they can just eat all the time. Like we're feeding, 
think it's one and a half or two percent of the body weight in here and it's 33 pounds and they gobble it up and outside we're doing if we're lucky six tenths to a percent to one percent of feet out there and that's a lot because of stress and then just other environmental conditions they're just not as hungry is the new PRAS really using less water? We're using 200 gallons of water, and outside we're using 600 gallons to river same amount of fish. So the new partial reuse aquaculture system already shows solutions to at least five problems. Predators can't reach them in here. Cleaning is much easier. Our fish are healthier. We're using only a third of the water inside that we need to raise fish outside. And that leaves more and cleaner water to go back into Icicle Creek and benefit wild fish and other wildlife. Now the hatchery's looking for a partner farm or orchard to use the fish waste we're keeping out of the river as nutrient-rich fertilizer. Looks like a win so far. Stay tuned for the final report card five years from now. Thanks to Assistant Hatchery Manager Chris Griffith for the tour. Footage from Mark Medcalf, Judy Baxter, Shane Wilder, Sean O'Neill, and David Antilli, Public Domain, Margie Lodwick, and Julia Pinnix, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Video by Julia Pinnix, Visitor Services Manager, March 2022.